Hi, this is Tom. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a video on the idea of using a catalog for doing ChatGPT, using ChatGPT to do my journey prompts. And I think I'm going to take myself off here for two reasons. One is I've been having some trouble. I had some trouble with the camera last time. Try to do a video. And also, uh, I don't want to get in the way of the images by mistake. So I'm going to start off just showing some images that show some different style codes. Now, style code is talked about here. If you go to uh, just Google Midjourney Style Tuner, and you, it'll take you to this a reference to this site here. This will talk about the style tuner, tuner in case you're not familiar with it. And here we have different uh, types of styles. This one's a kind of woodcutting style. This one is a flat or simple abstract style. This one is a more, uh, it's called abstract vibrance. Uh, that's a name that ChatGPT gave to it. And here's a muted watercolor type style. Um, so this is uh, a, a uh, mis mystical metal, I think it's called. Um, so I have a catalog that I form of 20, 20, um, 20 entries. And this is the prompt that I gave to ChatGPT to start the process, which is very simple. It says the catalog should name the style code, state the style code, describe what kinds of images it should work well with, and in regards to item three, what the subject that works well, don't limit your thinking to the subject of the image you were shown, but think in more terms of the mood and the style of the image and what sort of other images would likely work well with the given style code. And in doing this, the biggest challenge that I had with ChatGPT is that when it sees an image, it is really um, dictated by that image or induced by that image to want to make instructions that are limited to the image that it saw. And so I tried to stress this in the making of the of the catalog, which worked pretty well. Some of them I had to rewrite, uh, but most of the time I was able to, um, yeah, you can see here it says, well, for, I, so I probably will want to rewrite these because they shouldn't say, well, focused on cypress streets. So I'm, I'm going to have to fix the, the subject on these, um, but this will still work because the, um, I gave it an I the the way let me, let me show you the the uh the the way that I, I do this. So I gave it that original uh prompt about how, how to do the catalog, and then I give it a prompt, an example prompt, and the prompt has the style code in it, and then I tell it is coming. So I told it I would do it this way. And the reason it's broken down into two steps is for technical reasons, because sometimes if you try to put them together, it, it glitches out, doesn't work. So I told it I'll give it to you in two steps. First, the example prompt, and then the image. And then it takes that it, and it analyzes the image and looks at the style code, and then it comes up with this catalog. And Sometimes um, uh, it's, it's still got a little, I'll, I'll probably want to play with this a bit because it, it's, it's not, it's not um, gone as far as I would like on the subject. Because the subject doesn't matter. You can use any subject. Well, not any subject. There are some subjects that work better than others depending on the style. But it shouldn't be um, limiting so much. Well, it's, it's certain, it shouldn't reference the style. Uh, that just because I gave it a style, 
it, it, in the image that I showed it, it it's very induced to want to make the um, catalog reference that, which uh, I'll, I want to work on fixing that. But even the way that, that it has this, it's sort of a minor issue because this catalog will, will work just fine. And um, the way that it works is it uh, has this description of the style code and what sort of uh, ideas it should work well with. And a way that you can use this, and, and it also has an, an example prompt. And so, so it knows how it can build prompts that how to work with the style code. So um, what I'm trying to do is get down to the bottom. So I have 20 different entries that I put in this catalog of uh, different styles. So I'll show you a couple of them here. So this is one. This is an image uh, uh, I gave it. So this is a certain style code right here. This is another one. Uh, let's see. Here's an animated type of style. And this one's a dark one, but I, I like that a lot. I think it looks really nice. It's a kind of a, a monochromatic black and white type of style there. Here's a detailed one of the crow. And then these are painting styles. These are oil paintings with pasto and pasto. Um, that's another one. It's hard, hard to maybe see, but up close, there's you can see the impasto here. Um, and another one, too, the same, same set, type of idea. And this is an Art Nouveau style. And this is a muted kind of watercolor style. Or a muted palette. Okay, those are the ones. I have some others that, that I had started the catalog before doing this. And so 20 all together. And uh, what you can do with this is, uh, let's see if I have, a, I think I, I might have an example of where I did this right here. Okay, so I said, uh, uh, I guess I'll show both of these. So first of all, I said, please make five mid-journey prompts using five entries from the catalog for a theme of your choosing. And it kind of failed at this because all it did was it looked at the catalog and it just basically used the images that I had given it as examples in the catalog. So that didn't work. But the second one worked. And, and, and this sort of thing, I've had a lot of experience with this work. If you ask it to do something creative, it's tends not to be great at that. But if you have an idea that you can give it and you want it to extrapolate from patterns that it knows, it tends to be great at that. And so here I said, please give me seven prompts where Paris is the theme. Think carefully step by step through the catalog entries to get a nice varied representation. And here it did a really nice job. It came up with seven prompts with uh, Paris being the theme and they're they're quite quite different prompts I did um, I think I did three of them let me add this one here uh, I'll I'll uh, have Virginia work on this well I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the ones that it already did three three whoops I need to go get to my server here let's see um, I'm up here okay so hopefully this will be real quick to get to my server here. And actually I can show you the prompts that it did right here. So, and and I, I was showing some of these at the very beginning of the video. All right, so let's have it do this one because they look kind of interesting to me. All right, so this is a psychedelic prompt. This was like from the 60s and a real, a real bright prompt. Um, and they saw this of the, the Louvre. Um, here's a more uh, uh, contrast from what we just looked at, a lot uh, calmer uh, kind of prompt. And uh, I like this stuff a lot. 
of a Paris cafe. And here you can see the four images of the psychedelic one. Here you've got four images of the more mellow one. What, what was this one called? It's an Art Nouveau style. All right. Ah, okay, okay. So this was the Art Nouveau style. That was the one where um, I showed an image of of its uh, using that to, to pattern after. So this is a more vivacious one. I think this is called the, uh, I forget the name. The, uh, oh, let, me, let, me, let me find out what the name of it is. Um, go here. Oh, I should have it in, in the prompt, right? Does it say in the prompt? No, it doesn't say in the prompt. All right. So this one was called uh, here. Did I have it here? Yes, Abstract Vibrance. I think that was that style. Okay, so this was this one. Uh, and then this one I, I like a lot. Uh, a more subdued type of, it's pretty, pretty cool kind of, kind of style there. All right, so let's see what it came up with with the prompt that I just gave. So this is more of a woodcutting type of image. And I, I like the style a lot. So you get a nice variety of the styles and I've got 20 of these. So I think I'm going to leave it at 20. You can keep adding more and more. Uh, at a certain point, they kind of get to be repetitious to some extent, but I want to kind of get my head around the 20 that I have. So, um, you know, I know what they are and have them in my mind. I can, you know, reference them and use them. Use them. Now, one of the ideas of the catalog was uh, also to have a name of the styles. So here, here you see the names. So it's obviously it's going to be impossible to remember a code like this, but you can remember the the names of the styles, uh, like that psychedelic elegance one. That was the uh, that did, did the Louvre, the one with the woodcut. That's the one that we just um, looked at. The uh, vibrance one. That was that bright one that had sort of a, a watercolor, kind of bright water water color uh, feel to it. And let me go back real quick to, uh, okay, so I didn't do one of these, but this is an easy one to remember. It's a simple abstract style. Um, so I think to summarize, what I uh, wanted to show was that this idea of forming your catalog is uh, an effective way that you can set up ChatGPT to, to do prompts. Here I set it up to construct the catalog entries, which that's something that's good to do, but you can do it yourself. And um, you can just find prompts that you like at random and, and that would work and throw them together and make your own catalog and just say to ChatGPT, you know, like get a dozen prompts that you like, put them together and say, call it a catalog of a dozen prompts that you like, and you can give to ChatGPT and do this same sort of prompt that I just did here, where it likes to have a little bit of guidance, but um, you can say, based on the catalog that I gave you, give me so many prompts, where such and such is the theme, and they go and pick and, and make a, a nice varied collection. And that's something that it's quite good at, as you can see from some of the prompts that came up. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be uh, planning to get more into this concept of, of using uh, catalogs in uh, some, some more videos. Oh, also, I do want to mention one other thing, which is uh, in order to get these style codes, to get this list of 20 style codes, uh, I, um, talked about this in a previous video, the one right before this one, about an approach that you can use to gather these style codes so that you have them uh, ready to do, ready to go. And so um, you can take a look at, at that video about how to find the style codes and also you can get images for the style codes. And then I just downloaded the images. Uh, uh, the copy uh, prompt, at least on my computer, doesn't work. Is it uh, Midjourney has it. Uh, an image as a an option for that, but that doesn't work for for me. So what I do is I download it to my computer and then I upload it 
you know, in the chat GPT session for it to analyze, to see the image and analyze it. So anyway, please take a look if you're interested at the previous video to this one. And that will tell you how to get the list of star codes and have images that you can use to show to chat GPT to, to be ready to, to do this uh, sort of catalog if you're interested in trying that. And also, um, I think um, I'll go ahead and post this I'll, in the video that uh, that I'm doing right now in the description. I'll leave a uh, reference to where you can find this actual uh, catalog uh, if you're if you're interested in playing around with it. Uh, thanks for watching.